Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the gaming channel, Despone. So, today we are talking all about the new hero in Overwatch, which was just announced, and that is Sombra. Oh. So in addition to the awesome animated short that we got about Sombra, we also got her uh, gameplay and abilities trailers, which I will be talking about all during this video. So first and foremost, Sombra is an attack hero, which I know a lot of you guys were hoping for a tank, uh, but nope, Sombra is indeed another attack hero. So on to her abilities, Sombra is first fitted with an SMG type machine gun which fires much like tracers, only slower and with a larger ammo clip at 60. So she's able to do more damage over time with one clip than tracer, but as far as damage goes, she's a bit weaker. But on to what makes Sombra so interesting and fun is her actual abilities. So her first ability is Stealth. So when you become stealthed as Sombra, you are unseen to your enemies, but your allies will actually still see you. So some things to note here is if you have a Zarya on your team and she decides to put a barrier on you or a Mercy decides to heal you, yes, you will then be visible to the enemy team if you're invisible. So much like Mei walling you off at spawn, you can bet there's gonna be some troll Mercies out there just making you visible to the entire enemy team. Healing stream engaged. Are you fucking serious? Also something to note with her stealth is it lasts for about four seconds in the current patch and has a six second cooldown after it's gone. You also move faster when you're stealth, but attacking using offensive abilities or taking damage disables her camouflage. So something you have to watch out for as Sombra is traps. Widowmaker traps, junk rat traps, just avoid them at all costs. But uh, yeah, I think her stealth seems pretty balanced. Like it doesn't seem super broken right now, but it definitely makes you have to rethink about your strategies if you do have a Sombra on the enemy team. Her second ability is the Translocator. So uh, Blizzard win unveiling this ability did say that uh, the technology behind it was a reason that particular heroes in Overwatch don't really like Sombra. Meaning Winston, who uh, made the Chrono Accelerator for Tracer, maybe didn't secure his files well enough because Sombra definitely stole it from him, which uh, I assume is going to be some kind of voice line about it in the near future between the two. Something like, Hey you fucking snut, that's mine! Shut the fuck up before I hit you in your mouth, bitch! Something like, I mean not that, but something like that. But uh, her ability does work a lot like Tracer's recall in a sense, only Sombra tosses out a translocator beacon and she can instantly return to the beacon even when it's in the fucking air while it's active, uh, which currently in the game is about 14 seconds or so. So within 14 seconds, if you need to get quickly back to a health pack where you dropped it or above the fight so you can regroup, you can just you know, zoop back there, which uh, to me just seems insanely broken, but who knows. But uh, much like Symmetra's turrets or junk rat traps, I assume you'll be able to, you know, destroy her translocator if you see it. Uh, also, though, something to note with this ability is that its cooldown is currently also six seconds. Onto Sombra's alternate fire, and really where things get super interesting is her hack ability. So Sombra hacks enemies to temporarily stop them from using abilities. Also, yes, that does include their ults. Also, yes, that does include Reinhardt shields. Also, yes, that does include Maze Ice Block or Reaper's Wraith Mode. Uh, or it hacks first aid kits to make them useless to her opponents. Good God, dude. That is just so fucking rude. That is the most asshole thing I've ever heard. Oh, you want to heal? <laughs> Too fucking bad. So with the health pack thing, I'm not exactly sure how long it lasts, but it seems to be about 20 to 30 seconds, which is fucking crazy. Also though, the hack ability does seem to have the longest cooldown at about 12 seconds, uh, but I also can't imagine you wanting to hack someone more than like once every 20 seconds or so, so it seems pretty fair. Also, something I forgot to mention about this is that you can actually hack enemy Torbjorn turrets um, to disable their damage, but unfortunately not to, you know, attack your enemy because that would just be fun. And finally, on to Sombra's ultimate, which is EMP. Sombra discharges electromagnetic energy in a wide radius, destroying enemy barriers and hacking all opponents caught in the blast. Holy shit. Holy shit. So a couple things to note with this. Note that it says destroys shields, not just drops them. That means Reinhardt's shield has to completely recharge, Lucio's entire ult counter. In addition to Zarya's barriers being dropped, she instantly goes down to 200 health because that rest of it is shield. 
uh, Zenyatta has instantly goes to 50 health because all of that shield, and they can't use their abilities for a few seconds. Like, holy actual shit. So, all in all, Sombra seems fucking insane, and I can't wait to play her, which uh, for console should be in a couple weeks. I think the people who are playing this on PC should have it in the PTR right now, uh, along with the new maps and uh, stuff that I didn't really get to talk about in this video. But I maybe will do that in the next video, so hopefully you guys are subscribed and all of that. Um, also, please leave a like if you did like this video, and also let me know in the comments down below how excited you guys are to play Sombra, because I am, like, out of my fucking mind, because she just seems game-breaking, but I guess we'll see. Uh, and also let me know in the comments down below any, you know, things you'd want to see of Overwatch content on this channel, and I'll check those out. Uh, that said, guys, I will see you next time, and fair wins.